We do not usually let Murphy on the couch. Every single morning lately, Dylan and I have been coming downstairs to find, I'm gonna just show you guys. This couch cushion is always <laughs> all out of sorts just like the last six months or so Murphy has been making his home right there but he won't do it when we're actually like chilling on the couch because he knows he's not allowed it just has been making us laugh he's such a little sneak <laughs> and he thinks he's being so mysterious but the sticks have given it away so yeah I've been trying to find a cute couch cover but they're all so ugly so like maybe we should make our own. I just think, how is he so smart? Murphy gives zero off. Not off. This is the man in question. You've been sleeping on the couch, even though we told you no. And you have a bed in every room. <laughs> If you are new here, I'm Taylor, and I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and this vlog is going to be a week in my life in Nashville. I have a few really fun things on the calendar this week, so I thought I would bring you along. I love to go to Dry Bar in Nashville. I love to see my girl, Ava, and so I'm gonna bring you along, and we're just gonna get right into this vlog. Have fun with your blowout. Okay, we are in and out in just about an hour. You know when you go sign up for a blowout and you try a new place and then you go in and they do a horrible job and you have to go home and wash and redo the whole thing? That never happens with my girl. I leave feeling really good. I just did kind of like a curled end and at dry bar, because I know some locations can be kind of hit or miss. Um, usually I ask for a bouncy blowout with curled ends. I like a little bit of volume with bangs, but not too much and have that event to go to tomorrow night and then one on Thursday. So I don't come every week, just when I have a busy week. I'm actually gonna go home real fast and finish editing a project that I just saw is due in my emails. I'm gonna go tweak that, send it back to the brand, have some lunch and we'll chat later. And it starts with you changing what you think and what you say to yourself. I feel like I don't show my meals that often, especially on Instagram because they're not very aesthetically pleasing. But like I'm doing a big bowl with sweet potato crackers, half an avocado almost, a bunch of cucumber. I'm gonna put onion on top that we had and then roasting some rice to make it really crispy. This chili crisp is the best thing that you've ever tasted. Put it on the crispy rice and it's just so good. And then on top for dressing, I'll put some rice vinegar, some coconut aminos, maybe some extra cheese, my meatballs once they're cooked. Okay, here is our finished lunch. For years now, try to every weekend meal prep a bunch of meatballs for us. These are turkey meatballs, but it makes it super easy when you're busy during the day to just make these little nourish bowls. And honestly, this is what I eat for lunch most days and it's so good. Might put some Kewpie mayo on top of there too. I was about to stop it chopped, but we've been trying to cook at home. You inspired me, honey. You made lunch. like the yummiest looking nourish bowl. Little pickles, so good. We've got our Christmas tree up. I try and take these every day. It's liposomal vitamin C with phosphatidylcholine and I feel like it makes a huge difference in like energy and the way you feel. I just get them on Amazon. I love doing Melissa Wood Health if I can't make it into the actual Pilates studio on any given day. Um, her at-home workouts are the best. Anyway, just finished up, and Dill and I have a bit of a busy work day today. What are you working on? I'm creating a shot list right now for a little campaign we're doing with a really cool like door lock. Really cool. Which we needed. Yeah. And 
just getting this organized for us so we can get it shot. Yep, we're lucky that we really enjoy what we do. Tonight, I forget if I said this earlier in the vlog, but I got invited, Ashley Tisdale, our millennial queen. I grew up being like so obsessed with her in High School Musical and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. And now she is the founder of a clean beauty brand that I love and use and buy that they sell at Target. And I think what she's doing is really cool because the price point of the products is great. So she's bringing clean beauty to anyone and everyone at Target. So we're just trying to get our work done and shot and submitted today before we can head off to that tonight. It's at Soho House in Nashville and literally I can't wait. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what to wear. Is every husband refusing to eat on actual plates and only wants to eat on wood? Microplastics and other things like... I'm eating a microplastic right now. This is a new to me activewear brand and I thought we could unbox together. Okay, wait, first of all, this is a really beautiful color. This is definitely fall slash holiday color. These are stunning. This is TLF and it stands for takes life further. Wait, that's so cute. I love bras that don't have like thick straps because I feel like it gives me back pain sometimes. Okay, and then we have to match that bra, brown flare leggings wow that's really 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 freaking cute the quality feels so good too i love anything that has this kind of waistline right here because it kind of snatches you you know so cute i feel like i'm gonna really like this stuff the quality is so pretty and the material is so pretty yeah wow okay and then this matches the flared leggings and that little bra now i gotta go help Dell finish this lockley project okay girls we're headed out i'm wearing this little sweater dress amazon belt and then my shoes are from dolce vita and my cute husband offered my cute chauffeur offered to drive hi brit love you <laughs> cute. it's a really cute event I'm a little heartbroken right now because we're out of avocado and I've been thinking about this breakfast sandwich since 6 a.m. and I feel like it's half the reason I got out of bed this morning was because I wanted my breakfast sandwich with avocado and these are the makings of a good breakfast sandwich but we're just missing avocado this is truly so sad maybe like no I can't make it work have you ever done a shot of apple cider vinegar well like in my drink Okay, so this is my morning elixir, apple cider vinegar, pomegranate juice, sparkling water. If you want like a nice, yummy, this is like a first take, so. Wait, but why are you doing that again? Like what's it for? I honestly don't really know. I saw it on social media. It's currently November 14th, and since September 28th, I've been eating carnivore. I'm not super proud of this, but I was just in a bad habit. So we just moved to Nashville two years ago. I had every excuse under the sun to eat poorly. My whole life, I, I lived in Southern California and I was just always had fast food readily available. The last 10 years, I've kind of just continued on. So I'm 31 now and I've continued on <laughs> as if I'm like in junior high. He's also eating on wooden plates. I'm so proud of him because I keep telling him I feel like his lobes grew together recently because now yeah, I'm... Taylor's told me all this stuff <laughs> and I've ignored her. For 10 years. I'm doing the air fryer hack. I've been putting my red meat. I just like go buy a New York strip, put it in the freezer, and then I throw it in the air fryer and it takes 10 minutes on, on each side. It comes out perfectly crispy as if I seared it in a pan. Once I start you yapping. <laughs> Taylor told me she wanted me to talk. I do, but we gotta switch to the next scene, don't you think? <laughs>
me and I think the most beautiful bouquet of flowers are in the car right now. I'm gonna meet a girlfriend to surprise our other friend for her birthday and bring her flowers. And this little, oops, I'm cramped in here. I'm trying not to spill these pretty flowers. Um, got my girlfriend a little gift from a store that she showed me actually. I just was in l, &L Market in Nashville and these are from Amelia's Flowers. Anyway, we're gonna go surprise her for her birthday and bring her these flowers. Also, how gorgeous is this vase? We're basically just gonna go show up at Jordan's apartment and bring her some birthday love. Her birthday was a few days ago and she was out of town and then she's having a birthday this weekend, but we thought it'd be fun to surprise her. I personally think that a beautiful bouquet of flowers is just about the best gift, especially if it's like done really well and they do such a good job at Amelia's flowers. It's so pretty. I think we're gonna have kind of a cozy night. Um, I actually just got a wild hair, you guys, and I think I'm gonna get in the car. I finished up my editing for the day. I booked a 5.30 Pilates class and I think I might go drive by a house that I just saw. Um, you guys know that we had that whole process of falling out of escrow and thought we were gonna move, but I haven't wanted to look at a home since that whole process, but I just found one and texted our real estate agent and was like, wow, I get a good feeling about this. I've seen a lot of listings lately and I haven't like seen any that I'm super pumped about, but this one looked really pretty. Who knows, but I'm gonna just do a little drive-by, so come with me. And they're, and they're projecting. This is the projecting episode. We are trying a new place in Franklin on the way to go look at this house. And I got the chicken salad sandwich. It looks so good. And then we got tomato soup. And applesauce. The double standards Wait. on the food situation, like the fact that Taylor can just take a bite of my food unsolicited, just like, it's, she acquires my food. But if I say, hey, can I have one bite? <laughs> Of yours, it's like she just let out a big hey in the store. No, I was like side eyeing. You <laughs> can't take my food, it's Where my you food. Your food is my food, and my food is my food. That's how it works. Do you want to ride together or do you want to drive separate? I'm over there. 